at Superturn Global Infrastructure, we have Pooja Goyal, partner and head of renewable and sustainable energy with the Carlisle Group. Welcome, Pooja. Thank you. What trends are you seeing in the renewable and sustainable energy market? Well, the market is getting very interesting as we are looking to the next 20 to 30 years in terms of growth and renewables. You know, people estimate that uh, renewables are supposed to go from 7% of the power generation mix to 50% of the power generation mix. And that is supposed to happen globally and it's supposed to play out over the next 20 to 30 years. What's interesting is that, you know, for the last 10 to 15 years, renewables has really been just about wind and solar. And from our point of view, that story is somewhat incomplete. Wind and solar are what we call intermittent sources of electricity. Um, they make your grid less stable. You have to consume the electricity as it is produced. Um, we think what's a game changer now for the renewables market is batteries and storage. And so we do think there will be a lot of opportunities around the integration of renewables and storage. So whenever you couple renewables along with storage, it's called energy shifting. So we are very focused on where we might see energy shifting, not just in North America and Europe, but also globally. So that's one big trend. Obviously, the second big trend that everyone talks about is electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are supposed to reach cost parity with internal combustion engines, and that's supposed to happen within the next five years. So now you have motor gasoline consumption shifting into power consumption, which is going to be a huge driver for demand. So we're pretty excited about that. And what kind of attitudes do you see towards the renewable sector? Well, I, I think this market has gone from what used to be a niche market 15 years back uh, to something that's really challenging uh, conventional fossil-based fuels. Um, I, you know, one of the key drivers for that has just been that renewables are now cost competitive with fossil-based fuels. So if you have to make a capital allocation decision in terms of where you allocate your energy-based dollars, that decision is going to be driven by economics. And so if renewables are cheaper, you're going to allocate capital towards renewables. Uh, so we think that's a big driver. The other thing is obviously the macro interest rate environment. You know, rates here in Europe are negative. So people who are looking for consistent yield, you know, might be might find renewables very appealing because of the consistent cash flow generation based nature of renewables investments. So we think renewables are becoming very, very mainstream right now. And we're seeing a lot of people get organized around the platform. What role does private infrastructure play in renewables and how is it driving the growth of the industry forward? I think private capital is going to be the key driver in terms of the growth of renewables. Private capital has the ability to be patient, to hold on to investments uh, for longer periods of time, um, unlike you know public-based capital. Um, the other thing I would say is that renewables are becoming less and less reliant on subsidies which I think is another sign that the sector is going from a niche market to something that's an established sector that's going to be challenging incumbent utilities. So private capital is going to be a key driver of that growth. What new and exciting investment activities have you seen in the field? Well, we are seeing plenty of uh, opportunities in the market right now. Um, one opportunity that we are particularly excited about are development platforms. Uh, these are platforms that have been incubated primarily by large family offices. They are by far the market leaders in the specific geographies that they operate in. And these companies are now looking, for, uh, looking to grow their businesses further, primarily organic growth. And they are looking for partners in order to fund their business plans. Um, we want to work with these companies um, and help them grow their businesses. Now, these management teams are very smart. They don't just want money. They want smart money, people who understand renewables and who can actually help them develop uh, their projects. We want to partner up with these management teams. So that's a key focus area for us. Um, the other business opportunity that we're very excited about is batteries and storage. I mentioned that. We think that's going to be the game changer as it relates to this broader energy transition. 
And then lastly, we are very focused on charging infrastructure just with the greater penetration of electric vehicles um, in the transportation mix. You know, there is a need for charging infrastructure. So we're very excited about that. I would say those are the three most exciting opportunities in front of us. Pooja, it's been a real pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me.